So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from the amazing Chiang Mai city in Northern Thailand as always. So Loi Kutong has been and gone, it's all over. It was a mad few days and I just thought I would do a small vlog and just say what I think about it and have a little chat about it. I've just come down for a drink and I thought I would roll the camera and we could have a chat. We got the, got the chickens, we got the hens, we got the roosters. <laughs> so everything's going on in the background guys. It's pretty quiet down here. It's, it's gone back to sort of how it was after Loi Kratong. It was busy here. Obviously, a lot of people always come to Chiang Mai for Loi Kratong. And yeah, the day after, it just seemed like a lot of people left. I came down here the day after and it was absolutely dead in this temple. I mean, now it is a Saturday, so the Thais are home from work and they come down here the boat has been full with tours lately every time i've been down here there's been farangs filling the boat up or going on the two hour cruise i've still got to do it one day i will i've been here in fourth year now and i've still not done it there was farangs here been here just a few days and they've done the cruise so i will be doing it soon i've been saying that for about a year so I've got my green tea, got my green tea today. I have been drinking the orange juice down here. They do pure orange juice now. What have we got on there? Five or six farangs. All been down the river, all been on the cruise. Loving life, loving that Chiang Mai life. Ah, we'll just watch the boat come in a minute. Give you all a look. It's just a cool, cool thing to do in it just cruising down the Ping River on the boat they've all got their life jackets on you have to wear the life jacket I mean I can see a couple on there that have in I think it's up to you this is Thailand if you didn't want to wear it but of course I would probably wear it for safety right yes yeah, so Loi Kratong what was it like? Was it better than 2021? Of course it was. It was better than 2021. But I think I was expecting... I was expecting it to be gridlock out. But it wasn't. I was out early. I know the last night was going crazy. Because I could hear it from my room. I can only say the two first nights I went out. And I went out early as well. A few of my friends were saying it got busier. Past 7 o'clock. I was out quite early and I, I could walk around on Tapai Gate and down on the bridge quite easy guys it wasn't it wasn't too difficult um, yeah the fireworks were going crazy on the third night and in hindsight I wish I went out on the first night and the last night because the big parade is on the final night and that probably is the biggest night but hey ho I've missed it now we've done the first two nights and both of them videos done amazing you can guess why right there was covid last year nobody was probably wanting to watch because they knew it was going to be empty and everybody was intrigued this year just to see what thailand was like i enjoyed it i really enjoyed going out doing the two vlogs guys I really enjoyed it i'm really enjoying vlogging at the minute um I'm loving life. I've, I've sort of found what I am now. I'm going to probably take it a little bit more serious going forward because I am a Thailand vlogger. That's what I've stumbled on it two years ago vlogging and it's just that's what I enjoy doing now and that's what I am. So going forward, I'm, I'm still going to be the same old walkabout way. I can be anything different but I'm sort of going to take it a little bit more serious. Um, because yeah I'm a vlogger man that's what I do I vlog it was a lot better than 2021 and 2020 was just that was a no-go anyway but yeah I think next year will be it's still gonna take another year I think until things are really back to full steam ahead Chiang Mai is busy but you get the days where it's not like like today everybody seems to have disappeared again they're either going up to pie a lot of them move on don't they they go to pie i've heard pie is pretty 
pretty busy and we'll come on to that in a minute um, but Chiang Mai people come people go there's a lot more than during Covid that's for sure but it's just going to keep getting more busy as December comes because I've seen the article on the Tiger where Bangkok Airport is just rammed man rammed with people so every day there's going to be people Chiang Mai Chiang Mai Airport I bet if you went to the airport today it'd just be people coming in all day long which is a good thing right so we've got people coming in doing the letting the fish out in the water this is what Thais like to do on the weekend it's always like that here on the weekends it's just full of people home from work they bring their kids bring the family come down make merry and let the fish into the water it's I love Thai culture. I mean, in England, what do we do on a Saturday and a Sunday? We probably go to B&Q, Home Pro, doing some DIY, and no, it just seems like they they're always relaxing on their time off here. Where in the UK, everything's just still panic. But I suppose it's like that in Thailand as well. Yes. Yeah, so some future plans for the channel. In the coming weeks and the coming months I'm gonna get out on Lucille more and we're gonna do a bit of a bit of getting out of the city and seeing some other places. That's that's what we got planned. I've got the bike booked in for early next week to have a full service. Lucille's getting the full the full works because I'm not going anywhere unless I get everything checked. And then probably after that, after next week guys, I'm gonna take off on the bike and we're gonna head off to Pai. Pai is gonna be the first stop where I'm gonna go and spend a few days and just, I've got nothing planned after that. Maybe I will come back to Chiang Mai after and we'll go somewhere else. Or maybe I will carry on to Mei Hon Son or I don't know. But I think my plan will be go to Pai, chill out for a few days, do some vlogs, come back to Chiang Mai and I know when I get back after that, I will want to get out again and go somewhere else. I'm probably only going to stay a few days. That's that's all you need in Pai, I think. I've never been there. That's one place that I've not been around the north. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to drive up, take it easy, and, you know, do all the sites we'll vlog and vlog around the town of Pai, take you guys along with me, and we'll have a right old laugh. We'll get up to a bit of mischief and probably get lost a few times but that's what this vlogging game is all about right it's it's all about everyday life experience in Thailand so that's what we're doing and I can't wait now my plan was to go right before Loi Kutong I was planning to go last week but then I sat back and I thought about it and I thought hang on the roads are gonna be crazy man and everybody was heading either to Pai or back to Chiang Mai from Pai on that same road and there was loads of accidents over Loi Kratong as there always is so I thought let's just hold back wait for about a week after Loi Kratong and then head to Pai when a lot of people have settled down a bit and they've left again and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you people the best motorbike shop repair in Chiang Mai so I'm going to do a few vlogs leading up to before we hit the road and show you down the motorbike place because the big Honda shops here and that guys they are rubbish this place is an absolute diamond that I'm going to show you I'm not going to tell you it now because we'll do we'll do a short vlog on it I've got to keep I've got to take Lucille down there on Tuesday morning and I've got to wait two hours so we'll do a vlog and we'll walk around for two hours the vlog's obviously not going to be two hours but I'll show you the motorbike shop and we'll go and get some food somewhere down there while I'm waiting and then go back and get Lucille so I'm going to show you that and it always comes in handy right and a good motorbike repair shop is worth its weight in gold when you come to Thailand when you come to Chiang Mai yeah so I just wanted to do this little vlog about Loi Kutong my feelings and what I thought of it it was great it was busy it was better than it has been for the last few years but it's it's nowhere near back to what it was and the future plans just wanted to 
let you know what we're getting up to. So we're gonna get out of the city. I know a lot of you know that I'm probably getting a bit restless in Chiang Mai city now. I've mentioned it on a few vlogs, right, where I'm probably gonna move out of the city next year. Nothing to do with the city. The city is amazing. The city is one of a kind. But the longer you've been in one place and the more tourists come every day, you know, you, and when you live here, you wanna be out a little bit so you can enjoy that quiet life a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna try and get this vlog up for a Sunday afternoon. This will be a cool, cool Sunday afternoon vlog just to put up about the future plans and then we're gonna go on this not epic road trip I might end up going further anyway I think I've been waffling for long enough all the croutons are gone out of the water now yesterday and the day before there was still a few floating about we got some people here just chilling the sky's always here man one in the cap, he comes down and chills out. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna finish my green tea, head off home. I've got a few days to wait until the bike goes in and then I'm gonna be making some plans to head off. So I will keep you all updated and I will see you in the next one. So I hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys. And yeah, I will see you soon. So take it easy, man. Take it easy.